Hello, welcome to the HR Diary YouTube channel. A study by ISS found that profitability is the highest when both employee engagement and customer engagement are high. In this video, I will show you how to use Minitab's Colorogram to visualize the correlation for profitability. Minitab added Colorograms, which is also called correlation plot, to its arsenal of visualizations in Minitab version 20.2 onwards because a correlogram is much more insightful than a correlation matrix when the number of variables increase. A correlogram allows you to visualize the relationships of the whole data sets at a glance because it highlights the variables that are most positively and negatively correlated in a matrix. As you can see, I've got Minitab open on my computer. You will notice that I have no data. Now, I'm going to show you how to import an Excel file. To do that, go to File, click Open, and find where your Excel file is. Click on the file and click open. You will see that your Excel data has been opened in Minitab here. When you import data from Excel, Minitab wants to know a couple of things. If your columns have names like what I have here, tick data has column names. So this is tick here. It is important to have column names like this so that you know what that data is. Minitab wants to verify that it has read your data correctly. So in each column, you have a choice of formatting it as numeric, text, date, or, or date time. You need to check that what Minitab indicated here, this format is, is correct. So country is tax. So this tax is correct. Year is in date. So date is correct. And um, these factors here are all numeric. So the uh, Minitab has read the, my data correctly. Now that I've checked that the data are read correctly, click OK. And Minitab will give you all your observations here. So as you can see, all the data are here. Now look at the column headings here. You will notice that C1 has an alphabet T there. This is because the observations here are all in text. Singapore is a text. C2 has a D because these observations are in date format. Columns C3 to C6 do not have any T or D there because these observations are in numbers. Now, let's create the collarogram. Let me shift this down first. So to create the collarogram, go to the menu at the top and click Graph. Here you will see Minitab has a lot of graph, right? And um, look for collarogram. Then uh, click on it. Next, we need to tell Minitab which of these variables, all right? These variables are here. So uh, which of these variables we want to include in the collarogram? So to include these variables, we need to move it to here. And we can do it by two methods. Either we double click it like this. All right, when you double click it, you will move the item to the variable box. The other approach is you select it and then click, select the variable and then click on this select and you will move here. So. 
revenue has moved to the variable here. Next, um, click on the display correlation values. Then click OK. And uh, once you click OK, you will see a mini tab generate the collaterogram here. So as you can see, Minitab has generated the collaterogram here. Let me make this screen bigger so that you can see by clicking onto this button. And let me enlarge it a little bit so that you can see it clearly. Now, let's interpret this collaterogram. This is the legend here. Positive correlations are displayed in red. Positive, this is 0 0.5, you see, it is, it is displayed in red. A positive cor correlation implies that two variables under consideration vary in the same direction. That is, if one variable increases, the other increases as well. And if one variable decreases, the other decreases as well. Employee engagement and the employee engagement and revenue box is red because both these factors are positively correlated. Customer satisfaction and revenue, this is the box, the intercept right here is also red because they are positively correlated. Negative correlations are displayed in blue. As you can see from the legend on the right, a negative correlation implies that the two variables under consideration vary in opposite directions. That is, if one variable increases, the other decreases and vice versa. The training and revenue box, which is this box, is blue because they are negatively correlated. No correlations are displayed in white. White indicates that the correlation is not significantly different from zero. In this example, none of the boxes here None of the boxes or variables are white. So there is no uh, uh, neg uh, no correlations. You can see from this table, there are numbers there. The numbers in the table represents the correlation coefficient values of all pairs of variables. The intensity of the color is proportional to the correlation coefficient. The stronger the correlation, the closer the correlation coefficient is to negative one or one. The stronger the correlation, the darker the boxes. So the closer it is to one, the stronger the correlation, all right, and the darker it is, is, it also means the stronger the correlation. So from this correlogram, a, a positive coefficient of 0 0.7 indicates a strong positive correlation between employee engagement and revenue. A positive correlation of 0 0.81 indicates a very strong positive correlation between customer satisfaction and revenue. A negative correlation of 0 0.88 indicates a very strong negative correlation between training and revenue. All right, that's it. I hope that you find this video useful. Don't forget, to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.